Greetings, Sagittarius, and this is your reading for May 20th to uh, May 31st, 2017. The cards that I'm using are Masonic Tarot cards, okay? So, Sagittarius, what I was getting, um, before I begin, I would first like to apologize for my absence. Um, I did have family coming to visit, so that's why I have been uh, absent from the readings for this for last week, okay? The deck that I'm using is, uh, I said that already, Masonic Tarot. <laughs> All right, so... Let me see what you got going on here. So, so far, you've got um, one, two, three, four, five, six. You got six major arcana cards going on here. So, major energy, major um, shifts are occurring in your life uh, during this time period for some reason, okay? But I feel like it's because of choices that you've made or because of some choice that someone else made uh, that is connected to you. But it's major, major changes are occurring right here. I can feel it. For the start point, you have the devil. Devil represents Capricorn. It also represents addictions of any kind. That could be sex, that could be alcohol, uh, money even, or just gaining money or getting more money could be an addiction in itself with this energy also, okay? This, however, um, you've got something here where you may, if this is a person, this could be something that you're pursuing. So if this is a person, you are pursuing them but very heavily. So it feels like you're trying to go after them, not in a negative way, but I feel like um, you want to keep them around or you want them to stay with you for whatever reason. You're trying to stop something from occurring. You're trying to stop someone from leaving you or you're trying to stop um, something from being revealed or some kind of truth from be coming to light here, but you're trying to stop it from happening here, okay? But it's more so... Um, it is the devil, so the energy in that case will be very strong in terms of trying to stop something from occurring or stopping something from happening. Um, it can't really be done in that case, okay? It doesn't mean that it's negative. It just means that with anything, something is if something is meant to happen um, that is to bring change into your life or to someone else as it's supposed to, okay? More like destinies. It's not something that can be um, trampled over. It's not something that could be um, changed that easily. It takes time for those kind of things to work themselves out. You're waiting on the tower. So you're waiting from some for a clearing in terms of something that may have just majorly occurred. Um, it could have been brought in by the devil experience here. But the tower has a lot to do with... Um, this could be information coming to you from someone. So that's why the tower is coming in. And that's what's bringing in a bit of a shock. And it, and it, shock, and it could have to do with a Capricorn. Or it could have to do with another uh, Earth sign individual that you are connected to. This tower, though, it represents also to me that whatever this is, that it is coming to light or it is coming to surface, you, it was always in the back of your mind. Like you felt like it was something that you knew it would occur eventually or you knew you saw it coming or um, it could be something that is something that is happening to someone else around you. Like where they saw something coming, that you saw something coming, premonitions. Okay, in that case, so it's kind of like um, you you knew it was coming, but you just didn't know when it was going to occur, basically, with this energy. The tower here also represents to me miscommunication with other people around you. So this could be your family, your friends. This could even be, I'm getting even a doctor too, all right? So like an OBGYN, a, a doctor visit here with this energy where uh, you could be finding out something about someone or you're finding this out, um, but it's more so like health concerns. This could even be um, a baby, okay? So that's why you've got major energies going on here. You could be finding out that a Capricorn is pregnant and maybe you're not the dad or vice versa and like somebody else is the dad or you're finding out about someone, some kind of addiction that someone had in the past has caused them some kind of physical issue and it's like you're in the middle of it somehow. Like you're related to this person, you're having to go visit them, you're trying to see if they're okay, all right? But it's bringing in sudden change into your environment. Could have already happened, okay? But I feel like you're just waiting. You're waiting to hear what's, uh, what is uh, to make of something or make try to even make sense of a situation that's going on around you. Your present has the present. Your present. Hmm. I said present. So maybe there's a present that's coming into you or someone else's life in human form. 
So it's not actually a material thing. It could be a person that's a present or a gift or a gift, a person that you see is a gift or this is a gifted person that you're dealing with that this is the tower, bringing in the tower energy into your environment or that you've known of this person that they're coming back up to your, uh, back into your um, energy again, into your environment. The death card represents the sign of Scorpio. This has to do with, uh, it could be a Scorpio that you're dealing with. This this could be someone that crossed over. This could be um, a situation that is occurring in your life that's bringing in major changes. Like I said, it could be on a spiritual level, major change, it is, this changes. On a financial level, major changes. This could be someone moving. This could be you moving in. Or someone is moving out, and that's why the tower is here as well. Someone is moving out. Could be a Scorpio, and that's why I feel like uh, the Scorpio, however, is connected to the devil energy. So maybe that's why. So you could have been working with a Scorpio, and it's like they're upset about something, and they're trying to get your opinion on doing something, but uh, you don't want to cause issues, or you don't want to cause issues in someone else's home, someone else's environment, because you're worried about something. Like I said, someone is very worried about something being revealed. It could be a cheating situation. It could be something about money. Money could be fraud. Something is going on there in that case. Okay. Um, in terms of that, uh, you're concealing something. You're concealing your feelings towards someone else. Or that other person that you're tied to is concealing feelings about how they feel about you. Or how they feel about someone else. So it's almost like you could be in a partnership with someone. But you have your eyes on someone else. They do. Vice versa here. And maybe that's why the tower is there as well. Um, like a cheating scenario is coming out. A love child. You're finding out about a love child. That's also coming out as well with that energy. Um, your instincts has the... Knight of Chalices. Okay, Knight of Chalices, Knight of Cups energy going on here. Cancer Scorpio Pisces. I said you did have a Scorpio going on here. This person is upset with you. They are upset, but it's it's not for a reason. They are upset because they they there's an energy surrounding them where they're upset of some kind of move that they made and now it's almost like they have to pay for it. So if this is cheating, they've had to pay for it. This is something that they could have taken from you, a person or uh, money or cash or something. They're upset about this. This is more so karma coming into this person more than anything else. And that's why they're experiencing the tower energy because they were hooked on devil energy for so long here. Devil energy kind of like keeps you back. It keeps you um, fiending, fiending for something, fiending for some kind of change, a fiend. It can even be like sexual fiend, like a, like a sexual craze. Okay, like a very like heightened sexuality is what's going on here, and they're the ones that are rushing in and they want to do something, or they're like, um, this is like someone saying that they're ovulating and, and let's like go and like try to like have a child or something is what's going on here. There is another thing that's major here that's going on, and that's why you could be receiving, like I said, you're receiving news about this situation, but it's um, it's it's very strong, there's a lot of strong uh energies going on here for you um Sagittarius okay but it's that's basically you got something coming in there in terms of uh communication your accomplishments has the five of swords okay so five of swords I feel like you're dispelling some kind of rumor here or rumors about you or about somebody else around you um in terms of that being a rumor there is some ask aspect of it being true but it's not like you wanted it to come out. Like the timing is just really off about how like this rumor comes out or how this situation is really breaking down for you. And the, in terms of you dispelling rumors or in terms of you trying to possibly shut down someone that's coming in kind of quickly here, they, however, are they could be the ones that are trying to dispel rumors to you or to somebody else or a group of people around you with that as well okay but it's major change five represents change it also represents um um pocket pocket change giving somebody pocket change giving somebody money that you feel like they don't have any is what's going on here as well Your spiritual self has the knave of, ch of chalices, okay, knave, um, 
younger cancer scorpio pisces energy is what's going on this would be the person that you're interacting with this um energy that you have here you this could be you having to defend your spiritual views or this other person is defending their spiritual views here that's where the rumors are possibly coming in as well about you or about somebody else this also feels like to me like enlightenment some kind of enlightenment is coming into your environment you're seeing things differently here could even be through your dreams could even be through like visions of some kind okay I feel uh, I'm getting like a postpartum kind of energy here. So someone could have just had a baby in your family. And um, maybe it is that this could be your friend's baby. It doesn't have to be yours, but or somebody close to you, their baby. This, however, uh, their, their obsession, like with this devil energy, is to get back at someone that they feel like did something wrong to them or... Um, it's more outside of you, but they're interacting with you and expressing these things to you about how upset they are about something and it's like you don't really know what to do about it and it's, you're trying your best to be there for them and, and trying to turn them into another direction from um, making a stupid mistake or, or making a stupid choice even with that, but it's like uh, they are the kind of person that once they have that first idea, they're just ready to go with it. Like nothing can stop them. Nothing can get in their way even. Your, ment uh, your mentality has justice, also the sign of Libra. You could be dealing with one, you may know one. This also has to mean you serving justice to someone else. This feels like court having, or someone having to get a divorce here um, because of something that occurred, because they chose to be with someone else. You chose to be with someone else here with this energy. Justice also, it represents um, jury duty, having to do those kind of things, but you don't want to do it. You don't want to, um, I'm getting, you don't want to separate. You don't want a divorce from a person you don't want to leave someone hanging or they feel like maybe they feel like you left them hanging to go with with someone else or to disappear and, and do other things that they felt like uh you weren't really helping them with or vice versa here with the justice card okay but it seems like um whatever you tried to keep quiet or they tried to keep quiet it, it didn't really work out in terms of uh secrecy okay what's changing for you the temperance card so this is your energy here this also has to be like um shedding light on a situation here with temperance needing patience possibly to deal with something that's going on around you a relationship whether that be with an earth sign or a water sign here you feel stuck in between with this temperance card you feel stuck you feel like you want to help people but you don't know how to and you don't know how it's going to backfire on you you want to uh i feel like this is you jumping into something too quickly not getting all the information this could even be someone that they did this or you know of this and like they however are are you are having issues in terms of what to do now in terms of like something coming in quickly and and changing the whole uh process of how things have been flowing basically okay so if this is a job it does feel like this could be like someone dumping papers on your desk and saying and giving you something that you have no idea what it is it could be work it could even be someone handing you a project idea you having to tweak it this could be even a proposal of, of in writing where you're given something but it's the the reading is not making any sense the reading isn't making sense you having to edit it, you having to go through it. Reading also, the fine print is also very important here as well. Resolution has strength card, the sign of Leo. It also has to do with you pushing through. You could be interacting with a Leo person. They, however, are, they're going through something right now, this person. Um, uh, they could be a Leo or just another fire sign. But with this, it this could even be you dealing with something right now, personally, emotionally, um wanting to be there for everyone and everything but not being there for yourself not getting enough time for yourself with this energy here in the resolution the future has the two of chalices two of chalices represent cancer scorpio pisces relationship okay this feels like you're mending it you're f trying your best to fix it you're trying your best to possibly heal from past issues to uh, heal from this tower situation that occurred earlier on here with the um, 
tower situation brought on by the devil okay but i feel like it was something that had to occur in order for you um with the death card it was something that had to occur for you to see something or for you to um wake up it could even be a karmic lesson that you're dealing with here in terms of how you treat people um how you interact with others how they interact with you vice versa and also uh about diving in too quickly here with the present okay all right, then, Sagittarius, that concludes your reading. If you have any pressing comments or uh, questions or concerns or would just like a private reading, please hit me up on email. My Instagram is also available for your convenience to follow. Take care, Sagittarius. Bye.